Welcome to the Author's Studio at Book Expo America 2013 in New York City. We're here with author Mark Tatuli, and he has written a book called Desmond Puckett Makes Monster Magic. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. We've spoken before. Nice yes. to see you again. Good to see you. All right, so who's Desmond Puckett? Uh, Desmond Puckett actually is me. Uh, uh, it's, it's kind of autobiographical when you think about it, uh, but it's, um, it's basically uh, taken from my own memories of childhood and how I used to scare my sister. That's where it all started. I used to scare my sister and her friends. I loved when they had sleepovers and so forth. So I just kind of grew a character right out of that. And of course expanded it for uh, the uh, illustrated novel world. But, yeah, I should mention it is children's illustrated novel. Yes. And, uh, and you do both the illustration and the text. Yes. So, so does that mean it takes you twice as long to finish a book? No, because the, the way that I wrote it is the illustration is woven into the text. So it's very an odd process, and, and it took me a while to figure it out because I was used to doing comic strips. I do two comic strips, and I'm used to that world. So when I started doing this, it was like, well, how am I going to do this? So what I did was I'd write a little bit, and then I said, well, this is a good place to put it in illustration. So I'd draw a, a sketch, scan it, put it into the Word document so it flowed. And then that was the process, basically stopping and starting, and actually kept it interesting for me. So the text comes before no, the No, they come at the same time. Same come time. at the same time. It's simultaneous, yeah. Okay. Because the text and the illustration are basically the same thing. It's all about the story. So you're just describing what you just wrote with the illustration. No, no, no. no other way it's around? Not. No, the illustrations okay. actually Is that a common are... misperception, or am I just an no, idiot? No, no, you're absolutely uh, right. right. Normally, people illustrate what you see in the text. Right. But here, with an illustrated novel, the illustrations actually stand in place of text. So you have text and then an illustration, but it's all part of one continuous narrative. Okay. So I get it. It, it, it just all flows and keeps moving. I, you know, either way, I'm impressed because I can't do either one. <laughs> Tell me a little bit Some about Some say I can't either. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the plot. Um, I, but, you know, it's kind of, it's not really a plot. It's just kind of like following what happens. But uh, basically, uh, it's the character Desmond Puckett and um, he's trying to stay out of trouble because he wants to go on the school uh, field trip to um, Crabshell Pier, where there's this giant haunted house that he's been dying to go and see. He hasn't since he was a little kid. But he's dying to do that, but he's got to stay out of trouble. And he's been getting in trouble because he likes to scare people and kind of can't help himself. So he gets three chances to, you know, stay on the straight and narrow and he has to uh, join extracurricular activities and he has to be good while he's in these extracurricular activities and you know antics ensue and uh, you know I, I don't want to give that away too much but that's kind of like the setup. What part of the book do you think kids will be able to relate to most? Boy that's a tough question because um, I write for myself so it's kind of like um, it's like it's, I really care more about what I can relate to. <laughs> I know that's it's kind of selfish, but that's just how well, no, that's how works, I'm able works, to write. You know? That's how I'm able to yeah. write. Um, I can relate to all of it because he's a strange kid. And I think when you're 11 years old, everybody kind of thinks that they're weird and that everybody else is normal. And that's kind of, I think, what kids will relate to most personally. Now, a lot of authors fall in love with their characters. Have you fallen in love with Desmond Puckett? Then again, he's you. At a younger yeah, age, right. uh, probably well no, in love, huh? No, no, you know, it's funny. I try not to fall in love with anything that I do because you never know when you'd have to do something else. True. You know, so you're always, it's always something in motion. Um, a lot of artists do that, though. They will fall in love with a concept and maybe it doesn't sell or something, but that doesn't mean they give it up. They just keep reworking and resending it. I, 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 as, as far as I'm concerned, I have a million things that I, I have to say. So, I mean, I love Desmond Puckman. I'm not going to say I don't love the character, but I, I love all the things that, that people my imagination. You know, I'm not surprised when you said you have a million things that, that you'd like to do and you'd like to say and that are going through your mind. Uh, you, you don't just write children's books. Mm -hmm. uh, you also do a couple of famous comic strips, don't you? That's right. Two comic strips. One is called Heart of the City and the other is called Leo. And, uh, yeah, that, I mean, I, that's a great thing because I can, every day I can just say what I think that day. So that's what's all awesome about doing comic strips. Do you look at the comic strips as, as writing short stories? No, they're more like poems, actually, poems. Oh, you know, really? because it's very short and, and brief. Yeah. And, you, and, you know, the, 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 the less words, the better. So I, I kind of look at them as just like little snippets, little ideas, whatever you're thinking about that day. And maybe you can turn it into something that's poignant. Maybe it's just funny. Maybe it's stupid. 
you know, it, it, it all depends. But as long as I can keep writing, I'm What do you I'm enjoy happy. most? Uh, of what? Of the things you're doing right now. Oh, boy, I Children's love them books, all. You know what? comic it's, strips. It, they're all I'm different parts of my brain. I'm guessing you probably do about seven I've, other things that I don't know about. Yes, I actually do have a full-time job where I, um, oh, I run. Yeah, I, I, uh, I um, am the graphics. I am the um, executive director of the graphics department in Philadelphia. We, I have ten artists underneath me that I um, supervise and um, do storyboards and stuff like that. Uh, but, Mark, when do you sleep? Don, I'll tell you, I don't sleep. <laughs> my wife will tell you. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just, I, I, you know what? It's all so exciting to me. And every day it's something different. And, I, I, there, and, and that's why I like to do many different things. Because as soon as I get bored with this thing, I got that thing over there, you know? So I enjoyed it all. Did you enjoy the process of writing uh, Desmond Puckett enough to write another Desmond Puckett book? Yes. I have another book uh, that will be coming out next April. This one doesn't come out till October, but the next one will be coming out in April. And, um, uh, yeah, I mean, now that I know the process, it'll go a lot smoother. The, but the first time, you know, I just didn't really know what I was doing. And uh, I call my artist friends and my other author friends, and I'm like, well, how do you do this? And they tell me what they do, but I know that's not going to work for me. Ultimately, I had to find my own way, you yeah. know. And um, Yeah, you've done okay. You've done okay. Yeah, you found so. your own way pretty well. Yeah. In the end, it's, it's funny how it always tends to work out, at least for me. Huh? As long as I can satisfy myself, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. All right, once again, here's Mark Tatuli. The name of the book is Desmond Puckett Makes Monster Magic. Good luck with it. Thank you very much. Sure.